throughout the afternoon, we started to see some clouds rolling in across our skies, and those clouds are actually helping us out tonight as we're not going to be quite as cold as we've seen over the past couple of mornings. But outside right now, looking pretty quiet in downtown Lexington. This is our Kentucky One Health Weather Bug camera at the 21C Museum and Hotel. And yes, it's cold outside, but not quite as cold as I mentioned as the past few nights. Right now, we're at 15 degrees in Lexington. The mid to upper teens pretty popular around the bluegrass, with the exception of Frankfurt that right now is down to 12. Meanwhile, for southern Kentucky, temperatures are running in the low 20s and we'll be settling for temperatures maybe a few degrees off of where we are right now, waking up in the mid teens once again in Lexington. Wind chills though will be closer to 10. By lunchtime, there's going to be more clouds than sunshine as temperatures begin to warm, warm their way into the mid 20s and we'll end the afternoon closer to freezing, which isn't going to feel so bad compared to the past couple of afternoons, but the clouds will be taking over our skies and if a few flurries will be around to start off the weekend. So that's what's going to be going on here at home in Lexington. If you're taking the trip down to True Blue Nashville tomorrow, it is going to be chilly for kickoff of the Music City Bowl at 3.30 local time. Temperatures running in the upper 30s, but there is going to be a good deal of sunshine down there as the Wildcats of UK take on the Wildcats of Northwestern tomorrow. Now back here at home, as I mentioned, we are going to begin to see a few flurries flying before we look towards the start of the weekend. But right now, our Max Track Live Doppler is all quiet. I have been keeping an eye on a batch of snow showers tracking through the central portions of Indiana and Ohio throughout the evening. Any activity that has come close to northern Kentucky has fizzled itself out, and that's going to continue to track eastward into western Pennsylvania through the rest of the night. But we are starting to get the clouds on the tail end of that batch of snow that's continuing to track through the Midwest and out into the Mid Atlantic region tonight. But there is going to be a slightly better chance for more of us to get in on some snow action as we look towards Friday. Friday evening. There's another clipper heading our way that will just nick northern Kentucky, bringing flurries, even a passing light snow shower tomorrow night. Areas across southern Kentucky are just going to see more clouds than anything out of this clipper system. A cold front will be passing through into Saturday, and on the back side, we will all be seeing a reinforcing shot of Arctic air. So with clipper systems, typically they're fast moving. We don't see much snow, but in fact, any accumulation, any snow that does start to stick, we'll see confined to the north of Lexington and for points even further to the north, where they could be picking up a few inches of snow with those two rounds that will be passing through into the start of the weekend. Then we dive a little bit deeper into the Arctic air as we get ready to kickstart the new year. High temperatures only right around 20 degrees, both for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. That's cold, certainly, but then morning lows are going to be getting even colder still as we could be sitting in the single digits as we look towards the start of the new work week and the new year over the coming days. Now tonight, under partly to mostly cloudy conditions, it's not going to be quite as cold as we'll settle into the teens. Then by tomorrow afternoon, lower 30s, the skies become cloudy. And again, a few flurries could be possible tomorrow evening, even into Saturday, not talking about really any snowfall accumulation across the area. Then we gradually begin to see the sunshine working back in as we kickstart the new year, but watch those temperatures drop. Single digit lows start on Sunday morning will only be near 20 degrees look towards New Year's Day afternoon. Then we'll begin to slowly begin to climb back through the 20s into early next week. But you will notice our stretch of sub freezing temperatures looks to continue through at least this time next week. Boy, 31 and 15, that's the pick day of the week. Huh? That's pretty uh, brutal. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think.